Hi, Leo. I'm your mistress of manifestations and welcome to your reading. Cheers. Now, my darlings, these are general messages. Not everything here is going to resonate with you, but if it does, just claim it 100%. Now, I'm going to be setting intentions for you throughout this reading for your health, your wealth, your success, your dream life, your dream home, your dream love. Manifest your dreams with me. Relax, be open, believe, and you shall receive. I have your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. Now, this reading is for anybody who has Leo in their chart. It could be in their sun. It could be their rising, ascendant. It could be their, where their Venus is or even where their moon is. Find out where your placements are. Your sun sign is just one aspect of you, yeah. There are at least four more aspects and placements that you need to know about. Watch all those readings and you will receive many more messages. So, Leo, let's start. I'm going to first ask, I'm going to be giving you messages, general messages, love messages, health and career. So watch till the end. I will timestamp. Okay. Let's see what the universe wants you to know urgently. I always start with that, Leo. Yes. It, this could be something that you don't even know. It could be coming towards you. It's not visible to you right now. I'm going to try to spotlight that for you so that when it hits you, good, bad, or ugly, you're going to be ready. Okay. Leo. Leo's. Bye. Thank you, Spirit. Be spontaneous. You know, when this card comes out, I always think it's a fool card. It you could be dealing with an Aries. This is a fellow fire sign like you. Something is going to make you take a leap of faith. Get ready. And you may have to take action on the spot. Make a wish. Make a wish. Have some of you been setting intentions? Because there's a lot of energy about that. Keep your dreams alive. There is somebody or some people I'm talking to who have been literally doing the work making their gratitude, their lists for manifestations. It's very powerful. This is your homework, yeah, that you're supposed to do every day because just taking care of your physical body is not going to cut it. What about your light body? Why have you come here? You're going to know. Your, your soul is going to align you on that path and then you're going to see how easily your wishes manifest. Whatever you've made a wish, I don't know what, keep it alive. Keep it alive. And I don't know why I feel the need to tell you that when you are sleeping in your dream state, you are going to be receiving prompts. You are going to have a moment where you have to take a leap of faith. Please take it. Please take it, Leos. Okay? So this is what the universe wants you to know urgently. Now, let's start with our general messages. Remember that the cards are not gender-based. Okay? I'm going to be using my Lenormans to start with my Gilded. Go with the energy I'm describing. Put yourself in your roles. Apply this reading to you. Flip it. Apply to the person you're thinking about or the situation. If you know the zodiac sign of the person you're asking, go to my channel. Check those readings. You will get so many more messages. With that, general message number one for Leos. Okay. Spirit, clear guidance for Leos, please. Clear guidance for Leos, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh boy. Hey. Leo's kid. Okay. Now, the first card I have is a tower card. Now, this is a very different tower because this is not the, this is the Lenormans, right? So in this deck, this is a number 19. If this number means anything to you, this is about a very imposing structure. It's something which is impenetrable. This is also about isolation, about feeling alone. This is Saturn in Capricorn. Isolation, loneliness. I don't know if somebody is sitting in that high tower. I don't know why I feel this. Ego. Okay? You could be dealing with somebody who has a lot of Capricorn in their chart. You could be dealing with somebody who has got a lot of Saturnian qualities or some of you. Okay? are dealing with an authority figure, something which is bigger than you. I don't think that though. I think, Leo, I'm talking to somebody sitting in the ego here. Somebody is very egotistical here. I don't know why. Aloof, you know that. See, Leo, your higher vibration is to get up on stage, smile, shine. You know, you want to be that. You're the kings. 
the lions, you can't say, I'm the lion, I'm the king of the jungle, me too. No, no, no. There can be only one. The low vibration of that is a bit of ego and arrogance. And I think there's somebody here sitting in this energy. Now, this could be somebody who is a Capricorn. Then I have a number 10. This is the scythe. Okay. I don't know if this number means anything to you. This is Pluto in Scorpio. So, so far you have Capricorn and you have Scorpio. This is hasty decisions. I think somebody here is sitting in their ego and you are being asked not to make a hasty decision or cut something out in anger. Somebody sitting around with a lot of arrogance and anger. This could be somebody you're dealing with there. And they have a very high position in society. It's almost like they're impenetrable. They're not allowing someone to enter. They're choosing to be alone, aloof, arrogant, authoritative. And they're thinking of cutting something out from their life. I don't know. This is a very hasty ending. See, this is about Scorpio energy. So when Scorpio comes in, Pluto comes in, it's about endings and regeneration. It is also the eighth house in astrology, right, Scorpio? That means it's about debts, D-E-B-T-S, inheritances, other people's money, okay? The second house in astrology is about your self-worth and how you make money. This the eighth house is about other people's money. There is somebody here who's sitting in their, in their ego. They're arrogant AF. And they're thinking about cutting something out. Now, I want you to channel, if this is you, okay, and you're very pissed off with someone, I don't know why you could be. I want you to channel the higher vibration of this card, which is to reap the harvest. I don't know if somebody's been giving someone the silent treatment here. Then I have a number 30. Now, this is... The lily, this, is, this number, if it means anything to you, it's three zero. Now, this is about a very deep sexual connection. This is Chiron and Libra. So, so far you have Libra, you have Scorpio, and you have Capricorn. Now, this, okay, is about morality, virtue, ethics, my Mother Mary energy. Somebody who is, I mean, her moral, their moral ground, doesn't have to be a female, is on point, Okay. Now, this also deals with a very deep sexual relationship. I think somebody is holding out on someone on purpose. They have cut somebody out of their life. Emotionally, physically, sexually, in every single way. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clarify these cards for you, okay? No. First, I want to take one more card from Ella Normans, and then I will clarify this. Put one more card on this. It's for Leo's. Thank you. It's a divine masculine. Now, there's a letter A on it, and there's a number 28. Somebody is holding out on someone. I don't know if they're holding back on giving them money or sex. They are, and they're thinking. Maybe they have isolated themselves, whether they're going to cut somebody out of their life just like that. Now, that's the first message I'm getting. Somebody is holding out. You know, it's like you're holding out to check. Just, there's a lot of arrogance here. Now, this is this this person is wearing a glyph of Mars. This is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Satch. This could be somebody who's again very arrogant, very well put together. You know, there's somebody who knows that they're they're sexy. Look at them. They're bare chested. They're very confident, charismatic. Could be somebody who has a you know good position in society. Could be somebody who also has a lot of admirers or minions around them. Let's clarify these cards for you. So far, you have Capricorn, you have Libra, Scorpio. Okay, Spirit, what is this tower card here, please, for Leos? Okay. What is the site? My God. What is the movies? Okay. Wow. What is the divine masculine about? Ace of Pentacles. Okay. You know, firstly, I want to tell you the Empress has come out. This is Taurus. There could be an age difference here between the two people. Just want to put this out there. The Tower card, which is the card of Capricorn, has come out with the Six of Cups. When the Six of Cups comes out, I don't know if this is a marriage. And the reason I'm saying that because the Ace of Pentacles has come out too. But they, they, somebody is isolating themselves from their soulmate. 
And they're doing it with a lot of arrogance and ego. There is a lot of sweet memories here. A lot of nostalgia. You've spent time with this person. I also want to say that maybe you have two kids. But as you can see, the, the two kids here also, there's an age difference. The, the girl is a little bit older. There is somebody here who's older. Both of you guys, people are not of the same age. And there are a lot of sweet memories. Somebody is holding out from their soulmate. I don't know if they are testing them or if they have ghosted them or they are isolating themselves. But this is a soulmate. This is a card of soulmates. The scythe. Ah, the empress. Maybe there's a divine feminine here who's cutting out somebody. But she's keeping quiet about it. She's keeping quiet. She's thinking. Because the empress energy is the you know, eternal mother. It's Mother Gaia. She gives birth to everything. When the empress comes out, I hope somebody is not hiding information about a pregnancy. And I want to put this out there. Because the empress is about pregnancy. Now, this is Taurus, right? I told you, the second house, which is Taurus, okay, is about the money you make and your self-worth. And the Pluto and Scorpio card with which this has come out with is other people's money. So there's something about money here as well. This could be debts, insurances, inheritances, and somebody's self-worth too, because the second house is all about that. And it's also about your pleasures, you know, your five senses. Taurus, Venus is exalted in Taurus. It's all about that. Now, I do not know if there's a mother who's planning to cut somebody out in a hurry and she's isolated herself today. Maybe she doesn't want to let them somebody know that she's pregnant. I don't know. Now, this is my mother Mary energy, right? My Chiron and Libra. With that, I have the Eight of Swords. I don't know if morality is something which is keeping somebody tied up. Moral issues. I don't know what it could be about because... That card of Chiron in Libra, this is like an open wound. Purity, winter, sex, chastity, ethics, wisdom. And then I have somebody is tied up because of it. Somebody is tied up in a situation because of their ethics or because they, they can't go against something. I don't know what it is, but if this is you, you are not, you, you, you're making yourself a prisoner of your thoughts because swords is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini do not stay stuck because of some morality issues. Is some authoritative figure putting some, you know, kind of a bind on you saying that, you know, you're not supposed to do this and da, da, da. It's against law. It's against ethics. Don't stay stuck, please, if this is you. At any given moment, this woman can break free from this victim mentality. Okay. Her hands are free. She's keeping herself closed. Don't stay in this prison. The Divine Masculine? I have the Ace of Pentacles. Now I'm going to read this card two ways. Either this is a marriage where th there is a money ties here. Okay? There is children too because I don't know the Six of Cups is two children. I don't know what is keeping somebody stuck. Some kind of moral or ethical issue. It could be about a church. It could be about sex. Now, the first message I'm getting here is there is money involved here. I don't know who this is. Second message I want to give somebody here who is stuck in this. There is somebody new around. And this could be a brand new offer coming towards you. Somebody who's going to be your ace of pentacles. I don't know who this is, but you've got to break free of this, man. But there is something going on here with money. There is an energy of somebody feeling stuck because of money or because some kind of agency or somebody bigger than you is keeping you in a bind. It's about sex. It's about morality. It's about ethics. But it's definitely about money. Break free. There is another Ace of Pentacles offer coming your way. And Pentacles is money. And when it's Ace of Pentacles, it's usually for me about being grounded, about being stable. It's like stability on steroids. And what is that for us? Home, business, children. It's all there. But some of you are keeping yourself tied up. Break free, please, Leo. Okay? Now, I'm going to use another deck. Okay? Let's see what my Kipper deck has to tell you. Okay? This is my Kipper deck. This is your second general message. Okay? For Leo. Spirit, give me clear guidance for Leo's. Leos. Thank you, Kipper. It's for Leos. 
So my Leos, please. Cards are really sticking. Okay. Leos, please. Thank you, Pepper. Okay. Leos. One more, please, for Leos. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's see what we have here, okay? So, firstly, before I say anything, I have this card, which is a number 14. If this number means anything to you guys. Now, this is a message of concern. This is a card of cancer. Now, cancer is the fourth house in astrology. This could be literally about the home or the mother. Somebody could be even having a toothache. You know, Kipper is very literal. You know, somebody is sitting with that. It could also be some kind of a shock that you're receiving via communication. So also, this is also in this deck, a card where somebody is feeling sad. There is pity, self-pity and depression. Sad news. Now, I don't know if it's about a theft. Look, when this card comes out, I don't like this card. It's a number 24. I first want to just give you a warning. If some of you have a lot of valuables in your house, which you just keep around you, you know, and you don't even bother to pick them up. I do that a lot. And if you have a lot of people walking in and out of your house, please take care. Something could be stolen from you right under your nose. I just want to put this out there. Now, this is a card of warning that something could be stolen from you, something very precious. Now, as you can see, there's a child stealing here from a man who's very well-dressed. Look, some of you are going to find out news that something precious has been lost. And I want you to please, please, please take care. Okay? Please take care. This also signals there's somebody very negative around you. They could be stealing something which is very precious from you. I don't know if there is a mother who is allowing a child to steal from a man's pockets. I don't know what that could mean for you. I have a number 19. This is a death card. This is Scorpio energy. So far in this second general message, you have cancer and you have Scorpio. Okay. This is an ending. Not physical. Something is coming to an end. So there's no going back right now. Okay. Oh, what can I say? It's like this is over. I don't know if you found out about some theft, which is going to bring an ending. I don't know. I do not know. But look. Like I said, this is never a literal ending, yeah? This is about an ending, but a restart. You were dealing with somebody who was taking something right under your nose. I don't know what they disguised it as. I do not know. Were they trying to steal from you because it is their right? It is their inheritance? It is something that they thought you owed them? Somebody is watching this. That woman is watching that child steal. And is in broad daylight. It's coming to an end. You have to bring this to I'm so glad. This is coming to an end. Somebody has to move on from this. You have to leave what was familiar to you. You have to take that chance. And then I have the card of change. Something has to change. I told you this is a death of something and a change, a transformation. This is a number nine. This number means anything to you. This is about movement. You know, when I see this card of movement, you know, I always think that this is going to be, you know, the cancer card. You have cancer strong here and Scorpio again. Because the chariot is about vehicles, cars, aeroplanes. This is exactly that, a car. Somebody is leaving. Movement. What has been stuck? There's going to be a change and a transformation. And this is already the card of death and transformation. Some situation is changing up. The person who was stealing from you, you, it's going to be revealed to you. But are you going to bring this to an end? I don't know why I sense a, a resistance. Just think about this. Somebody is stealing from you, man, right under your nose. And they've been doing this for a long time. I don't know why I feel that. But you got to bring this to an end. you got to move. This could be a change of heart, a change of location, even a change of beliefs. There is something about beliefs. There is something about that authority or that church. There is somebody who's stuck in the morality of things. How will society look at me? How does it look? You know, the aesthetics of it. But you're being robbed. I'm going to clarify this, cards. Correct. What is this message of concern about place for the youths? Okay. Wow. What is this message of concern? My God, you won't know what it is. I'll tell you. <laughs> there is Capricorn in this reading. A lot. 
What is this theft about spirit keys for Leos? Excellent. What is this death card about? There are two major arcanas already on my table. What is this death card about? Please. For Leos. What is this change about, please, spirit for Leos? For Leos. When I asked about the message of concern is a devil, you are dealing with a Capricorn. I just want to put this out there. There is a lot of Saturnian energy here. It's about toxicity. Some of you could have also got some bad news about your health. Okay. Uh, I'm just putting another message out. I don't know. I don't know. But this is something that you have, you know, what is that called? What is that word? You have cultivated this. I'm sorry to say that because the devil keeps you chained and bound. You know something is wrong. Something is toxic, but you're doing it. But I want you to be rest assured, my darlings, the sun card is here. You've shown up in your own reading. And when this card comes out, it's about supreme good health. Now, this message of concern could be about a karmic partnership. Two people are chained and bound here by this devil. You know, the devil likes to make you go round and round in cycles. It's about Saturn having seven rings. He makes you go round that same mountain to test you. Somebody has been tested here. And I don't know what news has come in, which has, I mean, broken that, you know, their willpower to continue. Something has been shown to you. Maybe something very toxic. I hope it's not third parties. I hope not. Just putting this out there. Now, with the theft, justice. I don't know what they've stolen from you. Sakara Libra. My God. If some of you are in the court of law because you are fighting somebody who's been stealing from you incessantly, my goodness, the cosmic scales of justice are going to be balanced in your favor. Justice is going to be restored in your life. And whatever has been stolen from you, and I think you are dealing with somebody who likes to keep you stuck. They know where to, you know, apply pressure that you won't move. You know, somebody is very comfortable being with you because maybe you allowed them to steal from you. I don't know what this is talking. I'm just going to give you the messages as I'm getting them. Maybe you are somebody who allows people to take from you. You know, you are like very giving and caring and they know this about you and there's somebody who's used this information and they've kept you stuck and they know that they're doing wrong. It's with mind games. It could be with sex. Don't know if it's with money or because of money. Justice. Now, some of you could be going towards a legal situation. And if you are, Lady Justice is right here. Now, with the death card, I have a seven of wands. Some of you have been fighting this. You know, and when the seven of wands comes out, this person is fighting for me against nameless, faceless people. So I always feel that this could also be spiritual attacks. If some of you feel constantly attacked and you don't even know who is attacking you, somebody could be trying to do some kind of manipulation of your energy, sending you crappy shit your way. Please take note of that. I felt the need to say this. And you know what this devil, I don't know if they're doing some kind of black magic. I know this is not that card. But I just felt the need to tell you this. So some of you have, be, have been feeling attacked. I first want you to know that this is coming to an end. It's coming to an end. I also want you to know that you have the vantage point against your attackers and you've been standing strong. I also feel some of you have been, what is that word, you know? Um, what's that word, yeah? I can't get the word. It's you have been a catalyst in giving them that power to hurt you. You've been allowing, enabling them. That's the word. You've been the enabler. Because you have defended this relationship. I also feel that. You've, stepped, you've stood fast, you know, against that and said, you know what? I'm going to be defending this. But you knew something is wrong. You've been fighting this end. You've been fighting to not bring this to an end. You know, I feel some of you have also suffered health issues. Because the first card, that message of concern could be bad health. Because you're dealing with somebody very toxic. I don't know if they have toxic habits 
or they have used some kind of toxic energy work on you. I'm so sorry to say this to you, Leo, but if you've come here for a confirmation, somebody is using some kind of underhand tactics, spiritual warfare, some crappy black magic against you. I'm sorry to say that you could be right, but I'm also here to tell you it's not going to work because when it goes back, hey, it's out of your jurisdiction because you are protected. It goes back 10 times stronger. Let them. I just want you to know whatever change you bring, the change of heart, change of place, change of location, change of partner, okay? You show up in your reading. You rule by the sun. This is the card of Leo. Health, vitality. And as you can see, there are two children here. Some of you have been worried about your kids. Do not worry. The sun shines with them. They are bits of sunlight. They are bits of you walking this earth. And if you're worried about your health, this change of location, change of heart, change of person, ch change, movement, bringing in the sun, health, prosperity, happiness, childlike joy and innocence. I'm even going to put this intention If some of you have been kept away from your children, you're going to be reunited with them because justice is here. Balance is going to be restored. Balance. Claim that, Leos. Now. Let's move on to love. Okay, Leos? I'm going to start by taking some cards from my situation tarot deck, okay? To see what messages I can give you for love. Okay, this is your first love message. Okay, Leo? Let's go. Spirit, give me clear messages for Leo, please. It's for Leo, please. It's for Leo's, please. Oh, boy. The one card I hate in this deck has shown up. First of all, you're dealing with somebody who has got a lot of Saturn in their chart. Could, could be a Capricorn. This for me is a devil on himself. Look at them chaining somebody. You're dealing with a control freak, Leo. And this is in love. You're dealing with a control freak. They want to control you, the situation, what you do, what you don't do, what you are dealing with somebody who's crazy. You know, and they're trying to control you I don't know with what, but I feel there is some kind of energetic manipulation going on here. Please take cognizance of this, Leos. Please. They could have anger issues. Anger issues. Because this word trigger, I think everything triggers them. Um, this name, car and place, perhaps they have driven off in a half many times. You know, leaving you, abandoning you. This person knows that, and they're controlling you with this, by the way. They know you're scared that you're going to lose them. I don't know if they threaten to keep leaving every time. You know, the, the change card has come out there, which is for me like the card of cancer. There's also a car. Maybe they just, you know, bounce off and they, and they know that you're going to go after them. This person has a lot of ego, a lot of toxic bad habits. Anger is one of them. I don't know if it's, it's fueled by alcohol. They go hand in hand. This is you. You have been riding this roller coaster, and that's what Saturn makes you do round and round, highest highs, lowest lows. And he watches. I mean, he doesn't like watch, but he tests you to see if you bounce. When the highs are high, you're having fun, but when it's low, do you stay or do you leave? You've stayed. And this person is controlling you. If you've come here for a confirmation that this person, somebody's trying to control you, I don't know what methods they're using. They have you figured out, Leo. And you're in this state, constant emotional turmoil, waves of emotions coming and going. I also want to give you another message with this card. You know, I feel there's some kind of a mental issue with this individual too. I don't know if they're all there. I mean, you know, water is, is moon energy, right? Lunatics. You know, when the full moon comes out, people go nuts. You know, the moon pulls the tides. It causes those highs and lows. And we are 70% water. I do not know if this person also has these shifts of mood. One minute they're good. You don't know what the script for the day is. It's going to be their energy as well. I hope you're doing this to them. If this is what they've been controlling you and treating you like trash. You can't keep trash at home. You've got to throw it out. I'll give you another message. I'm telling you, the minute you change locations, the minute you move away, okay, you're going to find that your whole energy shifts because this person is using some kind of psychological 
spiritual warfare on you. And I'm so sorry to say that. It's time to take the trash out. So there'll be somebody who's very trashy. Maybe they have a bad mouth. Or maybe there's somebody who's, you know, has got whorish, te- whorish tendencies. Sorry for my language. Take the trash out. Tie that garbage bag. Put it in that recycle bin, the plastic, the glass. I don't care. Get the trash out. Now, I'm going to clarify these cards for you. What is this grip about spirit for Leo? Okay. What is this trigger about the Leos? What is this waves about the spirit for Leos? What is this trash about the spirit for Leos? You could be dealing with somebody who's got water in their chart. King of Cups. This is a father. This for me is a very emotionally intelligent person. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody, like I said, who's a father, caring, nurturing. You know, I think this is a facade they put in. This is really them. You know, I think this person gives you that spiel of, you know, because I care for you. I don't want it. They're channeling the lower vibration of this, which is clingy, overprotective, could be jealous. Now, don't go by the sex of the cards. This could be a woman doing this to a man. Because as a man on this image, I'm talking a man. There's somebody controlling you. And they are saying they're this. Please, this is their real face. This is what they want to do with that information, with, you know, with that, whatever jurisdiction you've given them about how you, what you like, what you don't like. They're using emotions to keep you chained. And they're manipulating you. They're very intelligent. And they are very clingy. And they feel that being like this is a sign of showing love. This, this is, person has got mental issues. I'm so sorry to say that to you. The trigger, name car place. You have the judgment, Scorpio energy again. Now the judgment card is about wanting to restart something, right? This is Archangel Michael tooting that horn. Okay. Some of you are scared. Like I said, this person will be sitting in their car and driving off every single time. But you're scared it's going to end. You want to restart it. And they know that. Look, they are controlling you. I also want to tell you, some of you may get a chance. Huh? They may come back to you, you know, zooming in, you know, driving to you, your home, you know, lavishing you with I don't know what again. Do you want to replay this again? Because this is a very karmic situation. And Archangel Michael is trying to wake you up that this person has a lot of triggers. Everything triggers them. And they're a manipulator, master. They've done their PhD, double PhD, and thesis on this. They're using all their emotional intelligence to, I'm sorry, to screw you over. And they know that. And they are showing it as this. I have so much of love for you. It is this. I'm so sorry to say that. Archangel Michael is here giving judgment. He is going to tell you. He is going to give the justice in this. And you already had Libra energy here. He is showing you something, guys. Take a look at it. And when you see the truth about a person, you cannot unsee that. Leo's, do you want to redo this again? Some of you could have a chance. Please, you have free will. Don't be coerced or controlled or manipulated into something. I'm just happy to see this card here because this card tells me that judgment day is very close. And this time he is going to get the judgment. Okay, and for people who've been doing wrong, they better start praying. No, actually, prayers won't help either. They're going to get what they deserve. And I, I can't help that. I don't mean that in a bad way. That's how the universe works. You just stay in your positive, in your positive zone of you know, high vibe, please. Maintain your position there. Let them be where, wherever they are. Archangel Michael is in the house. He's going to give the judgment on this. This is a karmic cycle coming to an end. There's a critical moment. You're going to have a chance to resurrect something. Do you want to go around that mountain again? This person also has mental issues. Please, I don't want them to trigger you into forcing you to, you know, reconcile. Please, please, please think about this. Look at the similarities in these cards. It's water. Some of you are so scared to lose this. Five of Cups is somebody who's just focused on a loss. You believe or they made you believe that if they go away, Okay, they get into their car and they leave. Maybe some of you have separation anxiety, Leos. It's okay. I have that too. It's all right, man. 
But don't uh, deal with somebody like a devil who's treating you like trash. No. Don't be this energy. I know the emotions are coming for you right now, baby. I know that. But I want you to know that there are two cups standing. I don't know if it's your children. I don't know if it's your self-worth. Your Whatever it is for you, you're focused on this. Get your head out. Look up. The skies are clearing. I don't want them to keep you in this because this person knows how to manipulate your emotions. My God. I want to slap them. Yeah. They know. Don't allow them. Don't. Don't make it so easy. They treated you like this. And I think some of them also have sex addiction. They've been trashy, whorish. I love to see this. You walking away. You walking away. Leaving a situation. The cups are still standing, but you're not happy anymore. I'm so happy to that you pulled your head out of this, man. Thank you, Leo. You realize this is trash. You need to throw it out. You're walking. And look at you looking like a million bucks. And you know, the moon over there always makes me feel like you found something out. Some secret has come to light. I don't know what it is. I do not know. I don't know. Could be about money. Could be about sex. Because that's what the Scorpio energy is predominantly about. But you're dealing with somebody who can, you know, is a chameleon. <sighs> they can mask their craziness with this absolute sweden they do have bipolar or there's some problems going on here it's not all correct up there now i'm going to take some messages for you leos from the person who ghosted you okay let's see this this is a no communication message okay my truth oracle to see what they want to tell you okay ready spirits for leos please it's for leos it's for leo this one the person you know, who you don't have communication with, maybe you're wondering about them. They're wondering about you. There we go. I regret lying to you. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's time for me to heal now, I think is your energy, darlings. Because I think something is, so this, you will heal. It's like the three of swords energy. It's like pierced your heart. And Leo, the heart, the anahata is you, Okay. You are the ones with the magnanimity of the heart. You can you open yourself up. Yeah, you're like a child. Somebody has pierced you there. They regret lying to you. It's time for you to heal now. I will wait for a sign from you. They're shit scared to come towards you because they do not know. They'll have to gauge your madness, right? I will wait for a sign from you. I don't know what the sign is going to be. Maybe, you know. Always, you always take, I don't know what the sign is. You would know your own love story. I love you. I don't know what they left you for. They realized that they love you. I'm going to clarify these cards for you, Leo. Let's see what I can get, okay? Let's see what energy I can pick up from these. I regret lying to you. Spirit, what is this about for Leos, please? I will wait for a sign from you. Spirit, what is this for Leos, please? My God, the same cards are coming out, guys. What do I do? Come on. I love you. <laughs> what is this? Okay. And it's time for me to heal now, spirit. What is this about? Same energy is coming out, Leo. So this reading is on point. I don't know what else to say. Now, I regret lying to you, five of cups. They think they have lost everything. By being a liar. I think this person is trying to be super intelligent and sneaky. Yeah. They are, you know, what, what do I call them? Uh, tricks. No, no. I mean, it's the person who's extra smart. This is where they're sitting. They cannot get over this. Look, whatever they may be putting on social media or showing to the world, this is their energy. They feel like their sunlight has gone up on their life. And you are ruled by the sun. You their life is plunged in darkness without you. I want to put this out there to you. And they regret and they cannot get over this. They cannot. It doesn't matter what is shining behind them. They don't want to see it. They have their head in their ass. I mean, this person really regrets lying, lying, whatever they did to you. I will wait for a sign from you. Perhaps you walked away. Looking like this. 
and they're waiting. You know, I'll also give another message. Maybe this person ghosted you in the middle of the night, walking away. And now, okay, they're waiting for a sign. And the moon, because the moon is here, it's about secrets, it's about fears. It's also about intuition. I don't know if you guys have a certain way of communicating with each other. They're waiting for that sign. But some of you are walking. You're going to keep walking. I feel this too. I feel this. And the only sign you're going to give them is that you're signing off. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. I just felt that. I love you. Can I give you a different message here for this card? The Empress, this is Taurus. Tell some of you that there is a mother figure, Leo, who loves you. Who loves you. Okay. I don't know why I felt the need to say that. I love you. This is Taurus. This is the Empress. There is an age difference here. Somebody who's older could be a mother. Maybe they went back to their child's mother. Or if this is a woman, this is somebody who got pregnant and they had to leave to somebody previously. Now, because it's Taurus, it's also about money. And, you know, I love you. The Empress is somebody who's a businesswoman who creates abundance, literally money, man. I don't know if they were in love with money or with somebody more stable. Just putting these messages out there. It's time for me to heal now. You have the cancer energy, the chariot. You're leaving. Change of heart, change of location, change of mind. And look at this card. It's you taking charge of the white horse and the black horse, which is your shadow side and your light. You're moving forward confidently. You know the road ahead is not going to be easy for you, Leos, but you're taking charge. Some of you could be on the cusp of cancer and Leo. You're moving. Literally, some of you could be literally changing locations. Literally changing locations. Love it. You know, it's taken a lot of courage for you, I feel, to um, leave this person's, you know, even mentally their thoughts. I feel this from you, Leos, but you've done it. So let's shift gears and I'm going to take some messages for your career and your health. Okay, angels of abundance and then I'll take some angel answer cards for you. Okay, so Leos. So Leos, please. Leo spirit, Leo spirit, thank you. Focus on your priorities. You know, this always talks to me about you are doing too much at one time, whether this is your career, you, you know, too many things. Focus on one thing at a time. It's like, you know, that single handed focus is like putting that, uh, you know, that, what is that called? The magnifying glass and the sunlight falling on it, catching fire. I want you to do that. Segregate your, your day. This is time for this career, you know, your thing that you want to do on the side as a hobby, just focus on one thing at a time. Please do not be cluttered. Please. And sometimes it's trying to tell you that you may feel a lot of less anxiety once you prioritize what is really important. Right? I think some of you have come here with a question. I don't know why I feel this. Here's two things which you are rushing towards. Please remove one for the time being. Finish doing one project, then move to the next video, okay? That's the message I want to give you for work. Attract, not chase. The universe is telling you to stop chasing something. The more you run after it, the, more, the faster it runs in the opposite direction. Attract it by sending it out loving energy. You know, it's like, uh, you know, when you want something to come towards you, you know, you have a little puppy, a little doggy, or something that you want. You can give them a piece of chocolate. You don't yell at them, right? Or go running after them. They're going to run. It's something like that. Give it something that is going to make it want to come towards you faster. Stop chasing that thing. Because you're, you're chasing it away, Leo. I want you to remember this. Attract it. Sending out, send it out loving energy and watch it rush towards you, okay? So be it unlimited ideas at this time you are going to receive a lot of you know crazy ideas maybe in your dream state write them down make a dream journal and these ideas have the potential for unlimited success you are being communicated with you are being given these billion the next billion dollar idea could be yours leo i promise you this whatever ideas and thoughts come to you these could be inspiration sudden waves and flashes write them down for the date 
And you'll see as time goes on, these ideas will have a great importance to you in your life, okay? And if some of you have come here asking me if a certain idea that you have been working on is awesome, yes, it is. Now, Leos, I'm going to end this reading by taking some angel answer cards for you. These have yes or no cards. Ask a question. I'll try my best to answer. Okay? See Leos, please, spirit. My Leos. Leos. Okay. You're ready. You are ready. It's like ready, get, set, go. Take action. You know, whatever you're asking about, you're ready. Take action. This could be for, I think this is for work. I feel this. Take action. You're ready. If it's a project, it's ready. Whatever this, this, this child, this, because see, Leo, you're the fifth house. It's about creative projects. Childlike happiness. Children are the biggest creative projects we have, right? There is some energy here about work. You're ready. Take action. Meditation brings answers. Leo, sit down in quiet contemplation. Yeah. You know, prayer is your dialogue with dog, with, with dog, with God, right? It's your, it's it's you asking. It's you creating that connection, that that conduit between you and the divine, where you ask. You ask for uh, you ask for help. You ask for assistance. The only way to listen to God's answers is this. And I'm not asking to sit in some unbearable mudra and pose and meditate. No. Be present in your everyday life. Be in the flow. You are meditating. Because that's when you are one. You are in sync with the universe. And that's when... You are able to put distance or space between two thoughts and you allow the voice of the divine to come through and you'll hear that voice and you know it's not your voice. It's a very kind, peaceful voice that is guiding you. That's God answering those questions you gave him. <laughs> Give him that opportunity, please. Meditation brings answers. So my darling Leos, these were your confirmations, your validations, and your answered prayers. Thank you for listening to the reading. I've given you a lot of messages. I'm going to timestamp them. General messages, love messages, health and career. Share this reading. Like this video. I hope it helps many other people too. I also want you to check all your sign placements because you'll get more messages. Like, share, subscribe. I cannot wait to come back again to another reading. But until then, I'll say goodbye, Leos. I love you. Namaste. Bye.